Hey everyone! Thank you for joining today's live stream. My name is Rachel, and this is your Life Sketch, redesigning your life one step at a time. What makes a good life? Is it money? Is it fame? Is it success? Have you guys ever considered thinking of your social connections? Is social wellness an important aspect when it comes to our overall well-being? So today, let's learn more about that. We will cover social wellness. We have a very special uh, guest expert today. Uh, we will be learning a lot. So again, welcome. This is the third installment of the eight dimensions of wellness in your life sketch metamorphosis series. When we say social wellness, what does it really mean? Okay, in simple terms. It is having and maintaining positive connections with friends, family, colleagues, and others. Our special guest for today has a degree in psychology from the Ateneo de Davao University. And she is currently pursuing a PhD in social organizational psychology at Silliman University. A very busy person, but very gracious to be with us today. An assistant professor from the psychology department of Ateneo de Davao. Vice President of the College Faculty Union of the Ateneo, Secretary of the Association of Psychologists and Helping Practitioners, and a lecturer at the Davao Medical School Foundation, Silliman University, and Ateneo de Manila School of Government. Please welcome Haji Balahadia. Hi, Haji. Hi. Hello, everyone. Topic is, I'm sure a lot of people will benefit from this because I myself, at times I get confused. What does it mean when we say social wellness? So, guys, same format. Pull out your pens and your paper. This is an assessment. We will, Haji will give us 10 questions. Please answer yes or no. Be very honest. If you get at least seven yes answers, then pretty much you are on track. If it's below seven or if we get a very low score, that's okay. That means this is something that needs to be addressed right away. Okay? So, Haji, let's go. Let's start with our first assessment question. How do we know if we are socially well? I'll ask myself, am I authentic to myself? All right. No? So authenticity is essentially a uh, primordial requirement to creating healthy relationships. No? So by authenticity, we just uh, want to um, define it as being consistent and congruent with our values, with our attitudes, even with our interests and also our emotions. So being true to oneself is the foundation uh, as we connect to others. So if we are not true to ourselves, we have difficulty embracing who we are, what we like, what we do not like, um, even our boundaries. This, um, this will create uh, interpersonal um, difficulty and one will one might feel awkward in connecting with others so it's essential that we be connected in the spirit of truth because the truth to oneself will be the bait will be our bridge not to uh, to others so this is why when we create meaningful connections with others it's closely tied to how deep we have accepted ourselves and we are we feel less anxious and we feel less alienated um, as we create healthy relationship with the others. So uh, what you're saying is we stick to our values and regardless of what people think, so we stick to our values and we accept it, right? That's what I believe in. Mm -hmm. That's what makes me happy. So I just stick to that mm -hmm. and yes, no pretenses. And assessment question, do I practice self-care? Yeah, people who practice self-care are most of the times uh, the ones who can create meaningful connections with other people. 
um, they are they have a, they create healthy dis dispositions um, in um, in bridging themselves to other people. So when they strike a balance and show some sense of healthy um, uh, practices, uh, for example, of visiting uh, spa occasionally, regular exercising, um, eating healthy food, um, and of course, um, refusing uh, to take drugs, smoking, for example, and over drinking and even overeating, uh, this will create a healthy uh, mode uh, of existence such that you'll be able to you'll be able to connect with others in a, in a healthy way and you of course become presentable and you become more um, become more lovable to people because they see that you that you care for yourself and that your basic needs are 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 being looked after people by the way um, who are busy with their lives, it's essential that we strike a balance no? in, in, in taking care of ourselves and, of course, in attending to our um, personal um, preoccupation. Assessment question number three. Do I keep regular contact with friends, family, and mentors? Mm -hmm. So regular contacting of our friends, of our family, and even mentors create positive social health. Um, mm -hmm. Our entire, for example, network um, is closely tied to also our mental health. And investing in these relationships will um, allow us to uh, realize that we are really wired to connect with uh, people who are close to us um, and most especially people who are who turn out turn out or turn up to be significant others in our lives these are our friends these are our family members and also the mentors who have created a deep impact in our psychological journey so turn out to be uh, our very closest uh, psychosocial support not in, in times when we feel alienated, lonely, and depressed. Mm -hmm. And also your, your mentors. Mentors are also very important in, uh, in creating social wellness or, because uh, mentors are sources of um, uh, specific values that we carry through life. And these values are closely tied to our social identities. Uh, uh, we, we become known um, according to the values that we emulate from the significant people that we look up to. Next assessment question. Do I engage in volunteer work? All right. No, volunteerism. Um, is uh, very important because it increases, uh, they say, our social and political participation and we see ourselves in a larger community, in a configuration of a larger community. You know? And because of which, because we volunteer, um, there, is that, there is that recognition that um, our, our decision to, com our decision and commitment to be part of this of this uh, higher ideal, which is of course um, perhaps humanitarian aid, or perhaps a, a peace um, um, making or peacekeeping uh, activities, um, they um, essentially um, ensure uh, that sense of that sense of uh, societal interest. Now we find so it's essential that we find organizations where we can volunteer because it adds up to some source of purpose to um, to our lives when we whenever we volunteer because volunteerism ensures um, self-esteem as i've said uh, it adds to purpose uh, in life and of course um, it also combats loneliness uh, and it's really socially promoting the goal is social connections, guys. So yes. be there physically. Uh, share your time and your effort. 
Okay, good. Is that a yes or a no? Next assessment question. Do I celebrate my traditions and cultures? Or do I even know what my traditions and cultures are? Aji, please help us out on this. By celebrating our uh, traditions and cultures, we are um, we are embracing or even um, articulating or performing our uh, social identity, and therefore we our social identity um, is uh, affirmed by celebrating the our traditions and cultures. And by traditions and cultures, we do not mean to say uh, practices only, but this may be mm -hmm. this may be um, events. This may be events which uh, bind us together. No? Next assessment question. I hope you guys are writing down yes or no's. Okay, number six. Do I maintain a healthy routine? Yes, healthy routine um, is important in creating specific boundaries and it establishes um, the cadence, your cadence, uh, personal and social cadence when to engage and when not to engage with other people. So the routine that we uh, um, establish, the routine that we observe in everyday life do have functions and the function of which is to ensure that we maintain not only boundaries but also the cadence of when to and when not to engage with other people. And the, the routine also um, is, a, is a manifestation that um, we are able to um, organize no? organize our um, social relationship and the social processes that we observe as social beings no? uh, when we try to when we try to organize it in a routinary way then there is some sort of a recognition of um, your 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 place your time no? and and the it, it makes sense when you when you have social routines, when to meet people, when not to meet people, no, and okay. also where to meet people only, no, because a true socially healthy and well um, individual is one who is able to uh, establish these specific uh, routine, not in everyday life. For people who are who are um, spontaneous, really. They thrive in spontaneity, play, ga and games. And they, they find life um, um, to be, to be uh, spontaneous uh, and be governed by the principle of spontaneity uh, rather than by rigidity, structures, and, um, and um, extreme routine. No? But routine also establishes some sort of discipline, uh, boundaries, healthy boundaries, so that you will not also be intruded in terms of your time and your and, and space. We just become a very accessible uh, every time. Uh, then it is not also healthy. One develops also uh, some sort of some sort of toxic relationships. Uh, and at times even uh, would even give rise to codependency when you when you don't maintain a specific routine. Our next assessment question. Do I avoid toxic people and environment? Avoiding toxic people is actually socially healthy. No? Even if they are family members. Yes. No? And most especially if they're family members. Uh, why? Because... Um, remember that the fundamental uh, principle that gra grounds no, um, our social relationship is basically authenticity of oneself. So once you are already uh, feeling toxic of another um, um, person, no? even if they are family members, it's it's time to to 
well, at times cut, so, uh, cut these relationships um, because it will it will save you from 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 uh, from uh, being destructive. No, um, why? Because when we absorb these types of uh, energy, um, they they we will no longer be healthy. Also, in relating to other people. Okay, let's go to our next assessment question. We are on number eight. Do I participate in community events? Community events are important because um, it allows us. The, the, these events allow us to uh, see ourselves in a greater um, in a greater whole, and uh, community events also uh, promote uh, avenues by which we can meet new people and also identify ourselves with this community by which we belong um, to. Assessment question number nine. Am I open to diversity? Openness to diversity is a uh, key to social wellness because um, people begin to um, people begin to become more um, tolerant to each other in spite of differences. Um, at the very least, tolerant to each uh, to each other's differences, and the diversity, of course, promotes um, diversity. Of course, promotes no a society that a society that is uh, respectful of of differences. Um, when we are tolerant, when we become more open um, to differences, then there is that. We de we develop no we develop um, that res neighborly respect no and 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 of course now we develop social um, healthy social relationships so diversity is essential um, because it presses us to be more uh, respectful of others um, and to re-examine our values our principles also no and we become empathetic also of other this is our final question am i more empathetic and compassionate so people who are more empathetic and compassionate are um the ones who um we can easily establish uh, social relationships no if we are more Compassionate, meaning to say we feel for the feelings of others. Uh, if we are um, empathetic, no, um, we it's easier for us to establish um, social relationships that are life-giving. People who have high empathy and they have high um, sense of compassion, um, they have a more integrated um, uh, social life. Uh, they have um, they have a more coherent uh, understanding of the persons of others, no? uh, and and connection uh, is easier. Connecting with other people is easier because they move out from their um, egocentric mode. Mm -hmm. Uh, and reach out no, to, to other people no, uh, as their own. Okay, we finished all the 10 assessment questions. Did you guys pass? Did you get at least seven yes answers? But okay, to close, since this is an assessment, what is your advice to those who um, answered a lot of no's to the questions? So that means... Technically, not socially well. What what advice can you give us? Our brain is wired to really connect you know, to other people, no? Um, and there's a larger world out there, um, and it's important that we try make a decision, make a, make a, a commitment 
to expand our own world, to expand our tent, no? because the world is our home and other people, no? other people um, is also, a diff other people are universe in themselves and it's worth discovering. No? Um, your own personal, your own personal uh, uh, health, no? Uh, is closely tied to your social health. No? Uh, our Even our mental health is closely tied to our social health. The quality of relationships that we form, uh, the people that we allow in, to our lives no? or in our lives uh, constitute no? uh, who we truly are. No? And it's important to recognize this. Yes, and that's very powerful. All those that you mentioned, it's worth discovering. Thank you so much, Hajj. Okay, uh, something to ponder on. That's why social wellness is uh, very important. When I is replaced by we, even illness becomes wellness. So think about that. Like what Haji mentioned, you know, she said all those things, the different opportunities, all the learnings, they're all worth discovering. Let this be part of your daily affirmation. And we will journey together towards a happier, healthier, and wealthier life. Once again, this is your life sketch where we help you redesign your life one step at a time. Thank you for joining me. Please join our community, guys.